In the first one we're going to use the brass wire. We'll just use a nail file to file the ends just so that it doesn't mess up with your braids or dreadlocks. I hope you can see the difference between the pliers. This one is a round tip pliers. It's the best for, for this for this kind of tutorial so that you don't mess up with your brass wire. Unlike the other pliers that has a rough rough tip. This is where you can find it in Dubois Road or River Road if you are in Nairobi. It's it's in a in River Road it's in a shop called Cot Cortex and on at Du Bois Road it's it's in that shop near Danica Lodge. I just forgot the name of that shop. I'm trying to remember it. I'll just link the name in the description bar once I remember it. You can also add beads if you want on your accessory just to give it a bit of color but for today we're not going to add beads and you can also add the charm or leave it that way the charms you can find them in, in any bead workshop remember the size of the size of the charm depends on the size of your braid so if your braids are big, you're supposed to use bigger object, bigger cylindrical object, just so that it fits on your braids well. And it's supposed to be a bit fitting, not too loose. This one is just a modified version of the previous one. But it's, a, it's almost the same. Remember, you can also use this style to make earrings. Though when you're making earrings, you, you need to use smaller objects. And you can also use this one to make rings or amulets. I'll, I'll be glad to do a tutorial on how to make rings using this brass wire someday. I'm also planning to do a tutorial on how to do artificial dreadlocks. So if you are interested in making artificial dreadlocks, kindly subscribe so that once the video is up, you are able to, to watch it. You can also do this using silver wire. I like using brass wire because it looks more attractive and like silver wire. There are different types of wires when it comes to making these accessories, So, but you don't really have to know the names of this wire. You just go to the shops and describe what you want, or you can go with a photo, just show those attendants and they will be able to tell the wire you want. So don't be worried over the choice of wire. This wire also comes in different sizes as well, and the sizes are numbered. Till today, I've never known the numbers, so I just go and say, give me this one. So don't, don't worry so much about the size of the names. Just go to the shop and you will get whatever you want. In this one, we're just going to add a curl shell. You can see in this tutorial I'm using bigger bigger wires. I'm making big accessories because the bit, the braids I'm having right now are a bit big, so I just use bigger ones. And this one we're just transforming an earring hook into an air accessory. So you just cut off the upper part of your hook. 
that you you have something of that sort. We'll just join a we'll join a jump ring onto it. Remember, jump rings also come in different sizes. This in this case we are using the medium size and the big size. So just join it onto that. I usually call it a Maasai charm. I I don't think that's the name, but we can we can go with that for today. you just join the the charm onto the jump ring then you just join a bigger jump ring that's the biggest jump ring i think i don't think there's a bigger one one that is bigger than this one and you have your accessory this accessory you can use on feeding braids as well or even on cornrows but you will put it on the front part of your head I don't know another way of styling it, but yeah, that's what I've seen people doing. And it has been looking good on them, so I'll recommend it for you as well. That one is just join a cowrie shell onto two big jump rings. That's the simplest, I think. This one will use an earring, a pin, an earring pin. It's not a hook. It's an earring pin. So just cut off the excess part. Remember the pin is flat at the base. And remember you, this one also depends on the choice of beads. Some beads have a bigger, a wider hole so this pin can't fit into them. So when you're making this, be careful on the choice of beads that you take. This one can also be used to make earrings. So it can it can work in two ways. It can work as an accessory as well and as an earring, or even as a charm for your bag, just to decorate your bag. You just join a jump ring onto the earring pin. I will just join a bigger jump ring. And we have our charm. This one is slightly different from the one we just did. We we'll still use an earring pin. But in this one, we're going to use a chain. A small chain. Usually, it goes it goes for around 150 per meter, for one meter. That is at River Road. So we we'll just cut a tiny piece. Just join the piece that we just cut onto the onto the pin. Then with two jump rings and you are done. Just join a smaller jump ring onto a bigger one. The accessory is ready. I don't know if you can use a bigger a bigger bead for this, but I don't know, maybe somebody should try this one out. I, I'm used to making it with small beads, not really small, but medium-sized beads. And I'd recommend it for children mostly. Because it's a bit fancy. And the bead is also colorful, and children tend to love colors. We are on to the last one. 
we're still going to use the Maasai charm. Our name, that's just a coined name. We just coined that name. I don't know then. But if you are in if you are in in Kenya, you just can't say Mabati. Mabati a necklace. <laughs> they will know it surely. They'll definitely know it. We've also joined this one onto the chain. So we just joined the jump rings just the way we did on the previous one. Kindly let me know your comments, opinions, or additional points in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you again in our next video. Bye.